I don't like the grill. Now that I've covered that, let's move on. BMW G80 M3 Competition. We just took delivery of it. When you get to the back side, you're gonna see the paper plates and I've already taken it for a spin. Quite a riot, pretty fun. I think it's about 473 horsepower. Oh, that's on the basic. Let me do my little cheat sheet here. That's on the basic one. We've got the competition. So this comes out to be 503 horsepower, 479 foot pounds of torque, and it weighs in at 3,814 pounds, which is 1,730 kilos. Rear wheel drive, automatic. It's got some pretty cool seats. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well. And I didn't wait for a break-in period. I told Ben, hey, did you break it in already? He says, already broken in. Break-in period, one mile, donezo. So I've actually taken it for a spin with Maria. We had quite a blast, put it in M1 mode, M2 mode, traction control off, got a little drifty around the corners here on a closed circuit, of course. But uh, other than that, I mean, you know what we guys are gonna do to this. We're gonna do a tune. We're gonna do some wheels. We're gonna do an exhaust. I don't know at all what wheels we're doing just yet. It's likely gonna be uh, a set of HREs, uh, maybe a set of anarchies, maybe both. But we wanted to get the car first and foremost so that we can build a really cool wheel setup and you guys, as you start getting the cars trickle into the US and around the world, you start seeing what we've done and it inspires you to do slightly different setups. I do wanna talk a little bit more about the wheels. Please, if you're watching this video and you work for BMW, please write in the comments why BMW did a larger rear wheel than in the front wheel. We've got a 19 inch in the front and we've got a 20 inch in the rear. I'm not criticizing it. I just wanna know the thinking behind it. So if you do work for BMW, please comment in the section below. I wanted Marvin to step back because I was discussing it about the F80 M3, which was the previous generation version of this. There's two types of guys that, that order the aftermarket wheels. There's the guys that want a chunkier tire. So they would do a 19 inch front and a 19 inch rear. And there's the guys that like the stretch tire fit, which they would do a 20 inch front and a 20 inch rear. So what BMW did was like, hold my beer. We're gonna do a mix match of both. We're gonna have a 19 inch with a really chunky front and we're gonna have a 20 inch with a really stretched and thin profile rear. Why they did that, that's what I wanna know, but there's no doubt in our mind that we are, we are switching that with the aftermarket wheels. We're gonna do a 2020 setup. Maybe down the road, we're gonna try a 2121 setup. We did that on the F82 M4, but um, it, it just really depends on tire availability. We want the wheel and tire setup to look perfect. This to us, where you have a chunky front and a thin rear is not perfect. So we want to have chunky front and rear or we want to have thin front and rear. Now I want to show you guys some of the interior because I absolutely adore these seats. Take this mask out. Carbon fiber seats, an absolute must have, but good luck to Ben taking this thing on a long trip journey. We've got these grab handles here, a beautiful, beautiful carbon weave, and you've got a carbon fiber holder of things. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, could just use your imagination on what that could hold. But on the steering wheel, you've got the leather steering wheel. You've got the BMW, of course, colored stitching. You've got the M1, M2, like every time I see that, I feel like I'm fast and the furious, like there should be nitrous yeah, set up to that. I don't know, maybe we should do nitrous on this car. But you know what? Let's get in it. Let's get in this M3 comp and uh, put it through its paces a little bit. Radio down, close message. It's hot in here, max AC. Oh yes, the new car smell being pushed right into my nostrils. I don't think the modes are set up yet, but I do have an M mode here. Let's press it, see what happens. First of all, let me close this message. M mode. Okay. Driver's assistance, systems and active, indicator focus on sporty driving. Okay, cool. Now let me put this into drive. Really, really digging these paddles up here. You've got the minus and the plus. Ooh. 
the car to take your friends in and your family in and show them how fun it is. We got it to drift a, just a little bit. And let me just say that this is our car. Again, let me re reiterate in case somebody's joining us a little bit late because we do this with our cars only. <laughs> We're not doing this with, with client cars. That's, that would be extremely disrespectful, of course. So I don't know if you get to get that in the camera. We've got little bubbles in the back, which is actually really nice to the touch. On the shifter? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, right? Yeah, the raised. The fear that, the, and it's, it's, it's actually red. Yeah. And you can see the plus at the top. It's really beautiful, actually. Do a shortcut here. The steering wheel feels so nice and girthy. Sorry, can you say that one more time? You could, you could, it's How's just girthy, I mean. There's no other way to put it. <laughs> it feels nice. And it's, does this have this? This little finger motion thing? Yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Magic. Magic. Down. The steering feels precise. Oh, this thing has rear wheel oh. steering for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. That thing went around there like I was in a Mini Cooper. <laughs> it felt like it. Corner pretty quick. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness, this thing is silky, silky smooth. Wow. Man. And this and this is on factory ride height. Imagine when the center of gravity is lower on this thing. Sound wise, what are you gonna do? We live in 2021, not in the year 2000. So, you know, emissions have really killed the you know, naturally aspirated cars and and the exhaust notes on turbocharged cars like this. But we'll fix that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Man. I just did like a little slide there. So there you have it. Just a small little review. We'll do more videos of this in the future once we start doing the modifications to it. But let us know what you think about the car in totality. We know, we understand, and we're with you about this. Even though Ben says he likes it, I think he's lying to himself. But just let us know what you think about the remainder of the car, about the factory wheels, about the stance, about the interior, the cool features like the mirror, the carbon fiber roof everything i'm very genuinely interested in knowing what you guys feel about this car and let us know what wheel model you would do for the car as well because as i mentioned we're not 100 percent set on the wheel model so let us know the brand that you would like to see the wheel model you'd like to see and also the color that you'd like to see maybe even the fitment and then that way it can give us some ideas and maybe your idea shows up you know what if your idea shows up in this car we're gonna send you out a free t-shirt. I know Marvin's behind the camera like, no, we can't, can't be doing this anymore, but I did it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this Ferrari F8 Tributo. So a couple of months back, we were actually outside here filming another car. I saw this car pull up behind the camera and I was like, what are we gonna do with that car? So since I was tied up doing the filming, this customer actually rolled up, she walked inside, she asked for Hector, my, my colleague in sales, and he helped her out with an exhaust. She came in, she said, I had a 488 GTB. I had a Novatech exhaust. I traded in the 488 for this F8 Tributo and I wanna do something a little bit different from the exhaust aspect. So what we did was we showed her some of the options and one of our biggest partners, which is 1016 Industries said, hey, 
We are developing an exhaust for the FA Tributo. Do you want to be one of the first ones in the world with this exhaust? We said, hell yes. So this car is actually the very first in the world with the 1016 high performance exhaust. I have some pop-up photos here, beep, 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 or here, beep, 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 beep. And you're gonna see what that beautiful thing looks like. It is the very first, as I mentioned. I actually have not heard this car this close to it when it's, when it's turned on. So I'm gonna jump in there and hopefully give you some flybys as well and hear it for myself. But it's a really cool unit. It doesn't mess with the cats at, by any means, so you don't have to have any uh, warranty issues and things like that. It's just the high performance muffler system. It maintains the valve technology. It's very, very lightweight. And if you're wondering, hey, I haven't heard of this exhaust before. Well, that's because 1016 specializes in carbon fiber kits. We've featured them on this channel before with uh, my favorite being a 991.2 GT3 RS in the Lizard Green that had 1016 carbon all over the place. They also offer carbon for this car, but this customer just wanted the exhaust portion of it. And also she wanted to switch it up a little bit with the carbon fiber wheels. So as you can see here, this is the Ferrari carbon fiber wheel option. It's quite an expensive option. Um, I'm just gonna say it's over $20,000 and leave it at that. So you got a 20 inch front and a 20 inch rear. Now on this car, we usually do a 20 inch front and a 21 inch rear or a 21 inch front and a 22 inch rear. And we make it wider, we make it more flush with the fenders, but she wanted to keep it OEM plus and she wanted to go with these bad boy carbon fiber wheels. They're actually extremely lightweight. A lot of people will think that it's just a simple carbon overlay by Ferrari, but that is not true. The reason why they say that is if you zoom in a little bit more, you're gonna see that it's not carbon all the way through it, and it actually is. On the interior here, you have the fine textured silver and Ferrari does that for heat dispersion purposes. It helps out the wheel a lot uh, whenever you track this car and obviously the wheels and tires and the brakes and all that's going through extreme uh, temperatures of heat. And so that's gonna help out the wheel a lot and maintain its structural rigidity and also uh, keep everything well balanced on the performance of the wheel. I actually think it's a really cool pattern. The, uh, the two by two weave is, is actually really, really cool. And I just wish that they were able to make different sizes and different offsets. That way it's a little bit more flush, but I really appreciate what Ferrari offers with this lightweight wheel. But let me be quiet and allow something else to make the sounds for this video. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this car back to the customer, let her enjoy it. I absolutely love the sound of this. I love the sound of the IPE version, the Novatech version. I mean, all of these have their own unique sound to it and everybody's gonna like something a little bit different. I think this is one of the top ones, but make sure to make your own decision. Go back to some older videos that we have of the FA Tributo with the IPE, with the Novatech, and let us know in the comment section below after you do that on which one you guys, uh, which one you, think sounds best quite honest I know I sound better off so peace out what was that your Range Rover <laughs> all your kids in that